It's Wild Card Wednesday. It's Friday. I mean, I keep saying that. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. And I am VC. And this here is Francis Scott Key <laughs> wearing his Ya Fave Trash Man t shirt. Yeah, this was from the um the the lockdown in Philadelphia when it first happened, spring of twenty twenty. Um this guy, this is his Instagram, you can look him up. And he started a big support sanitation movement because they were so integral to keeping the city going in an extremely dangerous time. And um, I think there might have been... Oh, they didn't want to give them um, like hazard pay, mm. stuff like that. So Hashtag support sanitation. Um, I'm still on the off the deep end. I have more Coke that I'm drinking. I, I'm a Coke addict. No, but we said that we're not going to even question it until... Um, until Ash Wednesday. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm already growing still. Ash Wednesday is this coming Wednesday. So start to think what you want to give up or do. Yes. For 40 days. 40 days. 40 long days. I mean, after this year, how much more can we give up? I know, up? really. How much more can we be asked? Well, maybe you could do something instead of giving something up. <laughs> yeah, that might be I mean, I'm giving something up because I've been, you know, I've been doing a lot of like um not good eating and mm-hmm drinking my coca-colas but i think definitely it would be a good year to start doing something right. i feel like this is this has put a lot of things on pause right and so if that's you know going on a walk or be reading a page of the bible every day why not why not start something and today is february 12th which is abraham lincoln's birthday really happy birthday abe abe if you're watching this happy birthday my man 16th president Really? Yeah. Who's also the tallest. Just kidding. 6'4". Uh, was he the tallest, though? I don't know. One of them. Had to be one of them. Well, Trump was really tall, wasn't he? Yeah. But I think... I don't know. 6'3"? Uh, yeah, because his son towers over him. Oh, my. Baron? So, right. That boy is... He could be an NBA player. Right. Oh, well. But I'm, I'm sure Ivanka... His wife's name is Ivanka. No. Who's his, his wife's name? His wife is Melania. Melania. Well, she's a model. Yeah, she's tall, and it's like I, oh, I, 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 I figured like Baron's height comes from both sides. Right, right. But we're not talking about the Trumps. We are talking about. Oh well, we didn't get to the um topic yet because um, it's it's Wild Card Wednesday. It's Friday. I mean, <laughs> I keep saying that. We have one word Wednesday, Wild Card Wednesday. Gonna, gonna... Should, let us know in the comments. Okay. If we should just have one podcast right, a week. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> we're not getting to the topic yet because this is wild card friday that does not have a ring to it no it doesn't how about like <laughs> anything freaky I, friday no, anything i think sounds crazy anything okay, i think okay 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 so um crayola crayola crayons um this is just a box of cereal but I thought and you might want to try to it. Eat it. I thought you might want to try it. It looks like what is that cereal? Jazzberry. No. Oh. Um, tricks. I think it's tricks or fruity pebbles. No, it's tricks, right? Tricks. But so Crayola um is actually n- near us the 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 headquarters and they have like the Crayola factory and you can go there as a tourist and they I you think can see them making crayons making crayons and stuff. but I, I think COVID might have shut that down a lot. I'm sure it probably fully shut it down. Can't yeah. imagine that'd be one thing. But we've been there. But the reason I bring up Crayola is because Crayola has a new line and it's called Colors of the World. And it is um, colors of skin tones. Mm. Oh, I should have opened this. Um, colors of skin tones of the world. So in the past, you just had to like... <laughs> a weird beige. <laughs> lightly use your brown or your orange um, or your red... Oh, this look at this. I'm pale enough that I just would use the paper color as um I didn't know there'd be extra extra okay. So You missed my joke. What'd you say? I said I'm pale enough that I would just use the paper color and then just show an outline <laughs> on my face. Um yeah, so this is like so it's like um Rihanna's makeup line. Um Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. She brought out a makeup line that was so much more inclusive of um 
feel like we're making so much noise. I know we are. That's <laughs> why so I threw it away. Skin tones. So these are all skin tone um, markers. They have crayons. They have pencils. So it's a great um, it's a great offering that that Crayola um, gave. And I feel like that'd be great for classrooms. It would, and perfect for teaching kids. You know, like look at all these colors that can make a person's hair, skin, different parts of a person's body. You know, parts that get sun are going to be a different color than. Like you're bare behind. You're an artist, so like you must yeah. know that. The craziest thing about art, I mean, like I'm not talking about me because I'm not that good at art, but watching people do art, as, like painting especially, is seeing and it's amazing to see the people who have eye, like an eye for it. Oh yeah. Of how many colors like, they'll the see shape, a face and they'll, yeah. they'll say, "Okay, we need some red, some blues," and I'm like, "What?" what right. We? And it's like amazing. Yeah. So, um, thank you, Crayola, for finally. Finally, it took it long enough. That sounded mean. All right, so let's start again. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for Crayola for for thinking of that, or maybe maybe it was in a long time in the works because, you know, this looks almost like this. Looks almost like this, you know. And but that's the point. Say, like, I mean, but but yeah, or need to have everyone. Yeah. I wonder which one I am. Yeah, I'm definitely no. like a pinkish. Maybe this one. I think I'm pink. It's too pink though. I don't know. So, Spencer's... Oh, you're eating it. So, what's it taste like? It's like tricks. Which, speaking of tricks, I have a bone to pick. Does anyone remember when tricks were fruit-shaped? Because yes. I do. Yes. Wait, was that just like a limited time? A limited time of like 10 years. No, really? no, really? Because back in your day, they were the balls. Okay. And then they changed to the Into fruit shape. shapes. And then they came out with limited time. It was like commercials for it. And it was like... The fruits got turned into balls, and everyone was like, oh, this is fun. This is quirky for a little bit. No, they tricked us, and now it's how it is. And guess what? You know why I'm mad? I'm not mad because, oh, they're trying something new. I know it was a money thing. Yeah. I know it's cheaper to pump out these balls than it was to pump out six shapes of fruits. Of course. And you all just fell for it. I fell for it, too. But we should rise well, up. Well, I guess, no, I guess that age kids grew out, and the new kids were like... No, okay. it's funny, because, you know, like... um tricks are for kids yeah there was like a memes at the time and it was like they're still fruit shapes you just grew up and i can't see them anymore and i was like what oh wow that's marketing yeah look if you don't want to um paint the box uh marker the box you can marker the the little they have um oh, i want to marker the little children the little children of the world are on that and i have my crayola disney princess book which has more colorful crayons and i'm going to how are we both oh sorry because there's enough i'm gonna i'm gonna color a picture the, the bright light never lets me do anything let me bring it up a picture of tiana from the princess and the frog and um, for my black history what's it say to open and keep as a storage pocket oh that's fun so the markers are on the front right and normally you just tear into this and lose the markers so this Crayola Disney Princess book tells you just peel off this like American cheese wrapper and the markers will be in there and you can save them for next time. So that's fun. All right. So um, happy. Um, um, what am I trying to say? Happy. I don't know. February is Black History Month. Black History Month. <laughs> oh my God. Totally, totally. You're losing it. I drew a blank. We are. We are. Celebrate it with the colors of the world. This Friday. This Friday. All right. So, Black History Month. Um, beautiful celebration time in America. I just watched um last night. I re I rewatched for like the sixteenth time, uh, Tuskegee Airmen. Oh. Or I don't know if that's what the movie's called. But have you ever seen that movie? I haven't. But we went to the is it the Pitcairn Aviation um, Museum? Yeah. The avi there's an aviation museum. Um, here where we live and um, they had a lot of information about the history of aviation <laughs> and uh, flight and because we where you went to school is it Raymond Pitcairn? Harold. Harold. Harold Pitcairn. He invented the gyroscope and led to the helicopter and da da dee Anyway um, so we went to this museum and it was it had a lot of history and everything and I think it might have had the Tuskegee 
airmen. I think um, I had like a, an outfit. It had a suit. It had something there. And that's where you told me that very cool story. Very cool story. I took an African-American history class. And all the stories are cool. But that one was like particular. If you guys want. if you, I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people who went to school have learned the story of Tuskegee Airmen. But if you haven't. And you want to celebrate Black History Month? You just just you you watch the movie, okay? And then after, you'll be inclined to do research about it. Oh wow, it's dope! I'm not even going to spoil it for y'all. Tuskegee Airmen, find it, stream it, watch it, research it. I don't think I'm going to paint because I think there's so much going on. I won't be able to focus. Okay. Wait, have we even brought up a topic? No, you ready for the topic? Yeah. Okay. The topic is, um. Pick up the markers so that, because uh, I'm busy. <laughs> no, no, just like in a little be- bouquet. Oh, oh. Just easily. Okay. Now, if you had to draw God, which one would you draw him with? Um. That's the topic. The topic is, what does God look like? I'd be- use this one. I imagine God as Morgan Freeman. Okay. Remember that movie? Um. Rose, what movie was that? Yeah, I do remember that. But. I like what you're saying, and that was just a little. I don't actually. I know it's your. It's your. It's your. When I when I yeah. Because everybody yeah. Think when their when, own when I think of a god in human form, I for some reason think of Morgan Freeman from that movie. But people get tied up with it. And, people get tied up with it. You know, people mostly. I think a majority of people are going to think he's an old man, so he always has like wrinkles yeah. and white hair, or at least some white hair. Um. And it's like, why would God age? That's a human thing. But it's just so confusing because. Yeah. Okay. You just, you you do your little doodles and I'm going to have a real talk with these people. These people come to me for this real information. Shaking the whole table. So first thing we're going to look at, we're going to look at the Bible. What does it say, folks? Students. Um, yeah. Allison. (laughs) Well. The Bible says that we were made in God's image, so he has to look like us, right? Wrong, Allison. Don't always listen to what you read on the internet. Um, no, I'm just kidding. So let's start there. We're made in the hum- we're, we're made in the image of God. Right. So God has to look human. Well, people take that literally, yeah. But here's my thing. There's very different looking people on Earth. Right, exactly. There's a hence the. The twenty is it? 20, yeah. So, so if you say yeah, God's God's made, it says in the image, if it said in the color, you'd say, okay, God, that didn't help me. Now, which one? But I don't think that the, I don't think there is one, right? Because even if you found the color, what kind of eyes did he have? What kind of or hat or does he? He's 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 alive. You know what I mean? Color is one part. Yeah. Um. So is it too hard for you? Uh, no. Okay. I, I mean, I'm gonna. Like, I can really sum this up and say. I don't really think there is an answer. Look, I, I don't really think he is. Does look a certain type of way. I think we can't explain it, but I think he's like everything. I I I think we're trying to 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 put earthly flesh on on a right. on, on on a a god, right. which isn't true. Now, in representing him, no, you know what? Yeah, so I'm gonna go further on that. People get people get um. Uh, you know, there's there's a big debate of like how Jesus is portrayed, and it's like, why is he white, white with blue eyes? He's from the Middle East. You, you've heard that before, and for me, I, I think, and like I just said, I think of of you know a human version of a God. You know, it's like a Morgan Freeman. But when we are when we are saying, what does God look like? It's sort of like. It transcends just what they look like, and it's like what they represent. Right. So, well, I think people are afraid of not being represented. Yeah. Like, uh, like if yeah. if God is Chinese and I'm not Chinese, then I guess I'm out. You know, or like when we die is like, yes, he has, you know, he has curly hair like me, and it's of course we're not gonna have we're gonna have way more understanding on that side than we yeah. have on this side. I think I think we we can't understand it. But to me, it's like this. Do you remember when Jesus died? And then I don't, wait, I don't know actually when this was. And the uh, the apostles go out to spread the word. 
Yeah. And the Holy Spirit fills them and they, everyone from every language understands them. Yeah. A Pentecost Sunday, I think. Yeah. yeah. And, and so they're talking to people of all different nations that don't speak the same language, but they're speaking and everyone is receiving it from like in their own tongue and they're here. They're yes. understanding and hearing. I think literally it's the same thing with, you know, like, like God and stuff. It's like we materialize a omnipotent is that the right word omnipotent but yeah same difference an omnipotent god and we try to put like earthly characteristics on him and stuff but in reality it's like it's more than that but you know we can receive it in a way that is right uh, it's speaking our language if you will right so there's nothing wrong in imagining a morgan freeman no or you know is there something wrong if like you imagine him as like a teddy bear um well then i think you're getting to an inanimate object okay and then like you have to you have to be careful with it. make sure you're still where like, i'm not i'm not bowing down to morgan freeman i'm te- i temporarily let him be a focal point of my symbolism okay because only and once again it's not because i just chose morgan freeman it's because i was watching a movie where he was portraying God. So it put it in your mind. And so it put it in my mind. Right. I think Same way I think of Jesus the way I do. is because the way I see him in church every Sunday. You know, um, I probably think, I don't, but I would have, like Charlton Heston or something, because I think that's one of, that's the old, old Bible movies. Mm. Weirdly, I don't picture God. Well, that's the thing. You know, Christians are one of the first people in history and last people to draw God. It's like, it, it wasn't a thing you did. In Judaism art, you don't draw God. Okay. Um, he, he can, he's like sometimes in imagery represented as just like a two letter symbol. Okay. And it's like, it can't even be spelled full out. Right. Or, I, I know Jewish people won't. Yeah. You just said that. Won't spell it out. Right. They or, put like dash. Or, yeah. Or you'll just see like in a painting, like a hand coming down from. Okay. From uh, the heavens. Um, In Muslim art, uh, Allah is not allowed to be drawn or depicted. And for the reason, this is the reason that Christians just like kind of threw out the window was he's not like nothing on earth can represent him. He's so like, okay. and sort of even with Christianity, sort of like the purpose of Jesus, which, you know, like God on earth was to give us a tangible, right piece of god which was you know li- limited like he, he that's why he like would have talks with and it got it got all confusing and it was like right. why have you forsaken me because when you become human you know it, it, you have to go through the humans of trials and tribulations right so when you if you're separating that and you're talking about if that was you know god in earth form but that wasn't actually what god looked like like yeah um then no you there isn't really a reason we just sort of decided, oh, us Christians, we're going to start drawing God and imagining what color hair he has. Yeah, when it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I mean, even in the Bible, he's usually like, you can't, you can't even look at him because it's too, right. it's too bright. It's, that's right. You, you fall on your face, you fall on your knees and cover your face. Okay. So God is. Like we, I said, it's like looking at the sun. What does the surface of the sun look like? I don't know. So we are made in his image and likeness. And so heaven will be not full of aliens. It's going to be full of the beauty of his creation, which is us. Yeah, why not? Um, okay, so maybe an easier thing um, is Jesus then. I mean, people, you said depicted in art. Obviously, he's been depicted in art more times, I'm guessing, as a Caucasian. Um, well, yeah, because, I mean, if you look at it just from the fact that Europeans are what was sort of blew up modern, what's known as modern day Christianity. That's why you have, um, you know, the Pope in Rome, and that's like sort of what spread the wave. Okay. They made him in their image more than a traditional Middle Eastern geographical, image at, geographical image yeah. at the time, but um. Yeah, so I so think, you'd have to be more of like a history person, or not history, like you know. I think sociology. they actually 
like using geographical and family relations time period there was like a group of scientists or something who mm-hmm. came up with the like what they imagined and like i think even in writings like they're like his hair was straight or something like whatever there's like an image of what they think he would have actually looked like okay so i'll put i'll put that right here um so there is so there shouldn't be concern um if you know because people get mad about the representation if they say that's a wrong representation there's no way in the world that someone living so my my problem is this. in jerusalem would look like that my problem is this i do think there's a problem okay but i don't necessarily think it's the problem that people are saying it is okay so do i think that we could represent jesus in a different way than we're doing now yes but my thing is i don't like the monopoly over how jesus is portrayed okay being that yes when when like i'm sure a a, a large percentage of people are like Okay, I get yeah, it must be nice to to have see all your Jesus is depicted like you. Right. But, but why can't I see a Jesus depicted like me? If you are going to stretch the truth, I think you can do two things with it. Either one, go historically accurate, or two, let's let's see a ton of variations, you yeah. know? Like like well, why not? Ha- and and have it be like Santa Claus where I mean where you know you you you'll see uh, a black Santa Claus or, right. or or an Asian Santa Claus, and it's like, well, yeah, because you're you're having your know, kids and stuff see someone who looks like them, and then it's like, oh, okay, they're the ones bringing me presents, right? So, I think it should be the latter because you know, I think it, it it hits home. I don't think Jesus would would if he would get mad, then he would say, why'd you give me blue eyes for this this long? Right. But I think it it would be better, especially with the young people and stuff, to bring home this. And there's like, there's levels of belief. There's levels of education, not education, really. I'm thinking more of, I've said this before, with spirituality, you can, you can come in on the ground floor of just like, oh, like I've heard that in like pop culture, you know, around town. And then you could like, even with us, like, I think we probably know more than most people, but not anywhere near. We we don't know. We don't know original Hebrew text. No. People who study it. But there's steps like God loves everybody Yeah. here. You've never heard of it. I live in a tree house somewhere and I've never heard of it. And he loves the people who can talk. At, um, I always forget that language from that movie with um, Mel Gibson, the original language that supposedly he spoke Jesus. But anyway, um, so what I'm saying is if you want um, Jesus to have, blonde hair and blue eyes and that's like just your thought or that's the statue you ended up with or the mm-hmm. f- the painting that's fine if you want to take steps more and more where did he live yeah. where is that where do the people look like yeah. what do the people look like there you know there's you can do that and mm-hmm. and neither one is um taking away from because it's not about like he said it's not nothing is about the, the human body like it yeah and so it's 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 fine. And as you go along, you would learn he probably didn't look like that or whatever. Yeah, no, it's funny. This has nothing to do with that. But um, I was talking to someone last night about Hamilton. Have you uh-huh. seen Hamilton? The the Broadway. The, well, uh, yeah, or yeah. in movie form. I only saw it in the movie. Form. Okay. Um. Well, to those who've seen Hamilton, to those who're not, it's a historical play, but it's like you know musical. Great. It's actually the best that I ever saw. If you have Disney Plus, check it out. But a lot of the these you know 1776 officials were African American, or just the, it was it was like a, it was a very diverse cast, which would have been an all white oh, right. men's oh, right. club exactly. And I was talking to someone about how they were saying, I never thought I would enjoy that learn that much of history and stuff. It was like because you're watching it and you're singing the songs, you're doing this. And they're like, like, wow, I just, I, I just, I just literally, as if I read a book on Alexander Hamilton. Right. Um, I, I learned it's all historically accurate and 
it's like it just sort of goes along with that like there's some things that don't matter like what mattered there was a story and right. it, it got it across and it, it made it great and i think with jesus you know it's like the same thing where that that hamilton you know the people people loved that they did that and yeah. you know because it was like okay wow like that's amazing and they weren't like we're trying to be historically accurate it's right. like we're trying to make the best show whatever that we can. works for you whatever you works know? for you um there's a show on netflix I, I definitely won't be able to think of the name but it's like really popular with everybody right now and it's kind of like it's old-timey like um like a jane Eyre type but it's it's modern day it's like it's like a um gossip girl but it's like old-fashioned okay Oh, Bridge, Bridger, Bridger, Bridgerton. That. Well. Bridgetown? I don't know. Yeah. No, like, Br- Brigginton? <laughs> Bridgerton? 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 Who knows? But Brightonton? But um, oh. Avalon um, works in uh, theater yeah. at a college. And her, the costume director, said, ah, like, I, it's so wrong, the costumes. They're from, like, so many different eras. Uh. But it's. It doesn't matter, like yeah, you know. And she yeah. knew that. She's like, it doesn't matter. It's 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 a cute story and everything. Yeah. But like, just like if the bodice is different or they didn't have hoop skirts, I didn't. I haven't even watched the show. Yeah. But Avalon said that, um, you know, and, and so it doesn't matter. But what if God were one of us? What if God was one of us? What if God were one of us? Did, did, I stranger forget. on the bus or ariana grande what if god was ariana grande no doesn't she have a song um if god oh was if god was a woman yeah and that's our show <laughs> no um you know my true belief is that i don't think god is a color or a gender that's not what i meant i meant like i I, I, it's a distraction i think he's bigger than all that yeah and you know like i'm saying like when i reason i say it's a distraction is is like what good will come of trying to prove it or trying to know like are you buying him clothes to bring with you to heaven and you want to know if it fits like i i think he don't worry about it i think he it's it's a much bigger concept than that and don't worry about it. Hey. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's a sp- <laughs> um, All right. Here's my picture. Go bring my, it up to the screen. My, my, you can. I, we don't I, have I to. do it every time. My Black History Month. It's it's not great. Believe me. Um, beautiful Tiana and Louie. Um, I didn't have time and I was shaking the table. But check out Colors of the World, y'all. All right, guys. That is our podcast. Um... You know, mid-February, we are going to be gone for the weekend. I promise I'll come out with a meme review over the weekend on Sunday. Uh, Homework for the weekend. Watch Hamilton. Watch, more important than Hamilton, is Tuskegee Airmen. Oh, yeah. Um, Is that all? Let us know in the comments. Do you think... What do you think? (laughs) (laughs) About about anything. This was sort of a... This was like a complex topic because it's sort of like oh if god was around forever who made him i feel like it's one of the similar things so yeah, what does yeah. god look like it's the answer is we don't know and the, nobody knows right so i think with these things it's best not to dwell on it and dwell what we can figure out and we can deduce but it doesn't matter what color he was because we're all the same we're all family in this spiritual world and that is a beautiful thing but that's all we got Peace.